In this question, they say, find the angle given the components AX equals 2.9 meters, AY equals 1.7 meters. So what you do is you first have to show where the vector is. I drew it here, but I'll explain why I drew it here. So the X component is positive. So we look at the X axis. I guess I can write that X axis and Y axis. And then so we look at the X and Y axis, and then so it's 2.9. So we look, and then this is the positive side. So the x component is positive right here. And a, the y-axis is 1.7, so it's positive right here. So the x component is here, the y component is here. So that means the vector has to be in the first quadrant. OK. So now what they want is this angle. And they'll specify which angle they want. So in this one, they said the x-axis from the x-axis counterclockwise until the vector. So they want this angle. So to find this angle, what we can do is we can use trig. So I drew this um, triangle once more. And I, so this is the angle. So all I did was I shifted this y ax component right here to form a triangle. All I did was shift it over here to form a triangle. So now we have our angle over here. So the angle directly opposite of the angle, the side, directly opposite is opposite and the other one would be adjacent then okay so now since we have the x and y what we do is we figure out which trig to use so since it's opposite over adjacent because that's the two numbers we have these the x axis and y axis opposite over adjacent so since we use that we use tangent so you're going since since usually tangent is opposite over adjacent but the thing is, we're given these two pieces of information, and we're trying to find the angle. We actually use arc tangent, or the inverse of tangent. So therefore, in the calculator, you'd put inverse of tangent, or arc tangent, over opposite, which is 1.7, over adjacent, 2.9. So this, the opposite would be the y-axis. Opposite is y-axis, so 1.7 over 2.9. So after you do your math, it would be 30.4, and make sure your calculator is in degree mode, because we want it in degrees, not radians. And since that's the angle they want, because it's from the x-axis to the vector, you get 30.4, and that will be your answer. I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.